Evolutions, in my opinion, is one of the best new features EA have brought out in a very long time. And on FC24, it allows you to pick a player and upgrade them by playing objectives to get a higher rated version of the card. Now, a little bit of quick information regarding Evolutions at the start of the game. There are multiple that you can pick from, but once you lock one in, you have to complete it before you can go and do another one. So you can only do one at a time. So let's say I picked Umtiti, for example. I couldn't then go and do Bergvine or Harks or Back or Joe Gomez, for example, until I finished doing the Umtiti Evolutions objective. You can only do one at a time, which I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against, to be honest. I don't think that's bad at all. Um, but you'll be able to pick from multiple different ones, and majority of them are free. There is one that's expensive, and we'll talk about that later on. So there's one behind a paywall, and the rest of them are free. And the way you pick your players is you pick them from your club. So if you found a player you want to use, you go buy it, store it in the club, and then you go click on the player, put them into your evolution and click start evolution. It's as simple as that. Once you put a player into evolutions, regardless of how expensive they were or what they were before, they become the untradeable evolutions version and you can't revert them back to being tradable. That's it. It's done. It's a one-time thing and it's irreversible. So don't put somebody in that's expensive if you want them to be tradable after. So today... We're going to go through and look at some of the best options for the evolutions on FC24. And if you're a bit bored waiting for the game to come out, you can go to Footwiz and go into the evolutions tab. Click on either of these evolutions and you can actually go through and look at some options yourself. So maybe you can find a little hidden gem that people don't know about that you can upgrade in FC24. I'm actually going to be using Footwiz to show you guys uh, all of the options that I think are some of the best options. I don't have every player on the game yet, so I can't go through my club and show you them sadly. But I can show you them on Footwiz. I think I think the Founders Evolution and the Patey Protector are undoubtedly the two best ones. That These are the ones where you can upgrade a striker and a centre-back to have some really nice stats at the start of the game. And it's totally free, effectively. It's just the cost of the card. So let's have a look at some of the Founder Evolution potential cards that you could use. Now, there are some very, very obvious ones at the, at the get-go that will look like pretty decent cards, in my opinion. I think Vlahovic is a really good option. Can get to an 85, 83 pace, 82 dribbling, 88 shooting, and 85 physical. That would be a pretty monstrous card, if you ask me. I think that could be a very good card. Um, you know, we've got some other really good options. I think some very obvious ones that a lot of people are talking about. Darwin Nunes, I think, would be a good option. The only thing I think that might be an issue... It might inflate his price a little bit if everyone thinks the same way and everyone goes to do Darwizzi, which is why I've got some cheaper options here that might be really, really good options, and I'm excited to talk to you guys about them as well. Um, but I've seen a lot of people talk about Darwin Nunes, which is, again, like a decent option, but I don't know. If he's expensive, is it worth putting him in to get him untradeable to have him a little bit higher rated? I don't know. I really like the look of Bull Idea. I think that could be a really good option. Um, I think in the Serie A, with a striker option that is also Senegalese. You can link to Sadio Mane. Uh, it's not a bad card at all. Another one I'm seeing a lot of people talk about is Dan Juma. Now, Dan Juma will have a really naughty card if you put him for Evolutions. 81 rated start, gets to an 83 with 89 pace, 84 shooting, 86 dribbling, 70 physical, 4 star skills, and a 5 star weak foot. That could be a really good starter striker. And I don't think it'll take you too much time to get him as well. You might even get him in an untradeable pack. It's very possible that you get this card untradeable, so you won't even have to spend coins on buying the card. I like the look of him a lot. Uh, a little rogue one, a little out there one, is actually Anderson Taliska. Again, four-star skills are a five-star weak foot with the upgrade. Can be a very nice striker or cam. I think 82 pace, 87 shooting, 84 dribbling, 76 physical. Now, the reason why I give this one a bit of a shout-out is with the Saudi League having some very good players in it, you've got the likes of Mane, you've got the likes of Kante, I mean, Benzema's in there. So many decent players in there now with, with, that are decent in FIFA as well. Ronaldo even and Ronaldo is one of those where his card doesn't look great but it's still Ronaldo and he'll still be good at the start of the year and he gets a strong link to Ronaldo so it's one of those where if you pack like a decent untradeable card or you pack someone decent from the Saudi league might be a shout to do Anderson Talisca obviously don't waste your founders evolution on Anderson Talisca if you don't have any Saudi players it's probably not worth it right but one to look out for. Uh, one that I've kept my eye on, actually, is a Bamiyang. Now, Bamiyang got a big downgrade this year, down to 80 rated, which is unfortunate. But the 82 rated Evolution card looks pretty nice. 86 pace, 84 shooting, 8 dribbling, and a 67 physical with a 4-star skills, 5-star weak foot. And the high-low work rates can be a decent league and striker. But a little one that I've found that I've not seen too many people talk about, and I'm actually really excited for this card in general, Goncalo Guedes. Now, he's got a, a perfect link or the, you know, the club league and... Uh, nation link to Rafa, who's got a really nice starter card this year as well. Could be a very, very nice card. 89 pace, 84 shooting, 85 dribbling, 73 physical with a 4-star skills and a 5-star weak foot. 
that could be a monster striker for a good chunk of time as well. Only 81 rated, so he's not going to be super high rated, but those stats, they massively outweigh an 85 rated card in my opinion. The next evolution that's really exciting is Pacey Protector. It boosts a centre back to have a really nice pace boost of plus 15 with a plus 6 passing boost, a plus 3 defending boost, a plus 2 overall and a plus 5 physical. Now the requirements for this one are maximum 80 overall with maximum of 65 pace, 84 defending, 80, 84 defending, 84 defending, 84 physical and 75 passing so let's have a look at some of the best options in the pacey protector now the aim of the game for this one is to effectively find someone that's not super high rated with really good defending stats already that you can get a really nice pace boost onto and the first one I've, I've actually seen is Chiellini now yes Chiellini's gonna be really difficult to link don't get me wrong and you know he's not one he's not a, a serious shout but he kind of is like a left wing shout I guess um 79 pace 84 defending 87 physical on that card would be a really really nice starter CB I imagine that he would probably be absolutely fantastic in most people's starter teams if you can get him on chemistry now that is a big ask but let's say you got insanely lucky and packed an incredible Messi or you just have a decent starter team for like the MLS or Italians for example not a bad shout. I thought I'd include him anyway. I don't want to just include super OP meta cards or potential meta cards, I guess. Um, and cards that everyone's going to go use. I wanted to include a few different shouts here and there. Because this one is kind of quite Prem heavy, I feel like. Um, with the options I've picked here. Because uh, the next one is Victor Lindelof. I like Victor Lindelof because he's actually a really good passer of the ball as well. He's got decent passing stats in game. Um, and I feel like he could have a really nice card. Uh, 74 pace, 79 passing and 81 physical on the level 3 boost. Uh, sorry, level 2 boost. And then 84 defending as well with that card. Um, so it could be a very nice card. 74 pace there as well. At the start, I feel like you don't really need cards that are like 80 plus pace i know a lot of people are going to go for those kind of cards as well um there are a few center backs in game with 80 plus pace but at the start of the game i'll be honest with you 70 pace is a really nice stat to have i was using ruben diaz last year with 68 pace so and i loved him as well um so pace is not the be all end all this year and to get a plus 15 on some of these cards will make them really good i think joel matip is a great shout as well 76 pace 82 uh physical 84 defending 73 passing could be a very very nice card um, um titty now uh, for Lille he's in the French league again uh, great links to him as well 77 pace 74 passing 83 defending and 80 physical uh, left uh, sorry yeah left footed with a low medium work rate it's actually a pretty decent card um now, I did want to include some different leagues as well. So, in the Serie A, I think Milinkovic could be a really good shout. Um, I know he's quite tall as well. 79 pace, 82 defending, 88 physical, and 68 passing. I think could be a very good starter CB in people's teams. Um, I, did, I did want to include some women as well. It's difficult because I don't really, like... I'm not super clued up with a lot of the women, so I don't know how tall they are, for example, or their work rates and whatnot. But I do think Van Dongen could be a decent card. Um, obviously, can link to Depay really well as well. So if you've got Depay in your team, it works, works really well. De Jong, too. Or just any Dutch or Atletico players um, could be decent links there. Um, but that card could be very nice. 80 pace with 82 defending and 83 physical on a CB this early in the game. Could be huge. It just depends on her height and things like that. But I really do think with a lot of these women, if they've got good physical stats in game, I don't think height will be a huge issue i mean people use matthias at center back last year people use Cannavaro, and i remember a couple of years ago people were using fullbacks at center back that were five foot ten and five foot nine so like some of these women that are around that height i don't think will be a huge issue personally but each to their own on the opposite end of the spectrum, Benoit Badiashile, I think he's like six foot six or something. I don't, ex I don't know exactly what his height is, but he's huge. Um, 76 pace, 73 passing, 82 defending, 81 physical. Could be a naughty starter card. Good links as well, being French for the Premier League. Good, good links as well. Um, Doki from Onion Berlin is a great shout too. 87 physical, 81 defending, 79 pace and 65 passing with the boost. Very, very nice starter card and also helps with the Bundesliga with Dutch links as well. Um, there's not that many amazing options in my opinion in the Bundesliga this year that are going to be cheap. So I feel like he could be a good cheap CB option. Um, and last but not least, I've gone with Gabriel Palista. I think this card looks naughty, man. 80 pace, 72 passing, 82 defending, 84 physical. That's a nice card. Low high work rates, perfect work rate that is a really really nice center back card i think that's some great options right there i'm gonna hop back on the console for this one because this one is relentless winger and it's actually behind a paywall now with this one um the re requirements are a 79 rated maximum overall with 91 pace 79 physical 82 dribbling they have to be a left wing or have left wing alternate positions and i can only have maximum of three positions so left wing left mid striker that's it, right? If you have a cam as well, you're done for. Um, and their maximum shooting is 79 as well. They've used Ryan Kent as an example. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, you can get some nice cards with this. 50k is a lot, though. And I imagine, like, most people will probably spend coins rather than FIFA points. Because I don't think a 1,000 FIFA points is necessarily worth it. Um, 50k is a lot, though, in my opinion. But there are some pretty cool options. I'm just looking at my club rather than going on footways for this one. I don't want to sit here and give you a bunch of different options for this one. Because in my, in my opinion, even though I'm saying with a bunch of FIFA points, a bunch of coins, right? I'm a pay-to-win loser. I personally... Would not recommend jumping straight into this one. How long do we have left on this, actually? Let's see. You have 19 days. So maybe you play a foot champions or some squad battles or div rivals. That's probably the best shout. I, I personally don't think um, jumping straight in and spending 50k on this. Because the upgrade, for my opinion, is not worth 50k. I haven't seen any cards that I've sat there and thought, wow. You know, 50k... Fair enough. That's a huge upgrade. You know what I mean? So I probably wouldn't. I'd probably steer clear of this one, in my opinion. It's the only one that I think is maybe not worth it. I guess it's not. It's not. That it's not worth it. I don't know. It's it, it's totally up to you if you agree with me or disagree. I just I, I'm not going to sit here and advise you guys to spend fifty thousand coins or a thousand FIFA points on this. And last but not least, we have Golden Glow Up and Golden Glow Up Part Two. This is where you can get a sixty-four rated bronze all the way to an 84 rated gold i love this this is amazing this is what we've been waiting for for a very long time they've used ian harks as an example here from the revs who to be honest going from a 64 rated will have a really nice gold card there um some really well-rounded stats now uh with this one the requirements they have to be a center mid um i don't know how many cards are amazing with just a center mid now if they have an alternate position of center mid that works as well it doesn't just have to be center mid only if it's like a cdm with center mid as well that works but with bronzes unfortunately there's not a huge amount of players that do have good alternate positions um so you're gonna have to have a look around this one again i don't have too many insane like recommendations because there are a lot of decent 64 rated bronzes once again makes a lot of sense to go on footways and just have a look around i think with this one the main thing i think is it makes a lot of sense for you to wait until you've sort of opened some starter packs or opened your um advanced sbcs you've started building a foundation of a squad because i think it's really important to try and match the player to your team or, obviously, if you're a fan of a, maybe a lower league team or there's some bronzes. I, I used an example of Kobe Mainu from United. I actually don't know if he's got a set of middle title position. He might not. It might not be a card that you can actually use in this. But if you can, I'm, I'm really hoping you can. Because uh, that's who I would use in this. Um, but yeah, if you've got a favorite player, for example, maybe go for him. If not, I would recommend waiting until you've made your team first and then going and picking a player. But there are some great options. High looks like a really good option. Um high high work crates high high work crates and his name's high that's kind of funny um but like yeah there are some really good options with some really well-rounded stats that you can get to higher rates i think gray looks like a good option as well here um so like i said there are some good options i would highly recommend waiting being patient and then buying someone or using someone that fits your team i think that is the best option but i really like this i'm a big fan of the fact that ea giving is an option to use bronzes and make them into gold cards because i've wanted to use certain bronzes as usable cards for a very long time and it's about time we actually managed to use these cards in our starter teams it's actually really really cool so actual massive props to ea for that really cool feature i think evolution is going to be huge this year they said in pitch notes that they'll get higher rated over the time as well apparently icons can mean evolutions that's going to be insane i think this could be one of the best features ea have ever brought out and i'm absolutely buzzing for it so let me know that down in the comments down below if you're excited for it if you have any ideas of players that you want to use in evolutions any hidden gems you found let us know in the comments down below as well It'd be very helpful thank you all for watching the video if you guys have enjoyed leave a like down below subscribe if you're new around here i'll see you lads later